Xavier Howard thinks he is all that in a diamond-crusted bag of chips. He wants a new deal from the Miami Dolphins and it isn't going well. So trade him. Miami Dolphins fans love Xavier Howard. I like him. I don't love him. If he is on the Dolphins roster, great. The guy can play football. If he isn't, well, I'm fine with that too. Miami should however, take calls from other teams. Gauge the interest and the value, then decide on his future. If they value him more than what they are offered, give him the money he wants. If not, trade him. According to reports from a member of the local media, the Dolphins promised Howard last year that they would work on a new deal this year. I don't remember that being a part of last year's drama with Howard who came back to the Dolphins after he had money moved from the final year to last year. Let's recap quickly. Howard signed a contract that made him the highest at his position and on the Dolphins. Miami then signed Byron Jones to a larger contract. Howard wasn't happy. Howard held out from all offseason workouts. Howard wanted a trade. Howard reported to training camp, hurt himself, rode a stationary bike. The Dolphins gave him more money, he healed quickly and returned. Here we are a year later. Howard isn't the highest paid player on the roster and now the Dolphins are working on making him happy once again. I would make him happy. I would trade him to the Lions. I have no problem with players wanting more money but I do have a problem with it becoming an annual event. According to a recent report on Twitter, the negotiations between the two sides are not going well. If that is the case, then move on. If we look at this team realistically they are not making the playoffs this year. There are just too many issues on offense to believe Mike McDaniel will turn it around in one offseason. Maybe next year they are challenging. Maybe the year after they are legit contenders for the AFC East or a wildcard spot. Sorry, but this year is a long shot. If I have Howard, I have to imagine that his playing level is also going to decrease. If there is one thing about Bill Belichick, he can get rid of talent at the right time. Maybe this is the right time to get rid of Howard. If Miami gives him a big money extension it will likely eat up a lot more cap space over the next several years and who knows, Howard may just decide that he isn't happy with that contract. Miami should be able to get very good compensation for Howard in a trade, eliminate some cap space, and if they move on soon enough, replace him with a top talent like JC Jackson who is a younger version of Xavier Howard. Miami fans, and all fans, fall in love with players but holding on to them for too long is counterproductive and if we are being real, Howard isn't going to replicate the year he had two seasons ago. If in the end, the Dolphins can't get a return on Howard that they believe is worth it, then make him play this year on his contract as it currently is and tell him they will negotiate with him next after seeing how he does. I know, my opinion on this isn't a popular one but at some point, you have to decide how much time you will put into a negotiation that will never make someone happy, heck, maybe not even content. The Miami Dolphins have a lot of money to spend in free agency and they have plenty of holes already filled but don't expect every player to be great. Chris Greer has said the Dolphins will be aggressive, when the market opens but aggressive doesn't mean they will spend across the board and sign every top free agent. Many of you are saying, well, no kidding, but there are plenty more of you who think that Miami will buy two top offensive linemen, a top wide receiver, top linebacker, and still have money to add a top edge rusher. I know, the salary cap doesn't keep teams from spending money. If a team wants to rebuild their roster from scratch and no salary cap space they can still find a way to do it. That is an extreme example but it shows my point. Teams who want to spend money will find a way. Others will point to the $20 million plus that Miami could create by releasing several players that are easily replaced but even that won't guarantee a huge change to the roster through free agency. Miami has to decide where their money is going to go. They have $10 million tied up in Mike Jasicki for now, under the franchise tag. They have not made decisions on many of their impending free agents. They also have to decide if the offensive linemen they have can play in this new system that will be developed. Expecting the Dolphins to add a top one or two tier center, guard, and tackle is unrealistic. Expecting them to all all three plus a top wide receiver is also unrealistic. Miami should hope for the best tackle they can get to replace Jesse Davis. They should try to get quality wide receiver who have relative good health histories and maybe another running back. Defensively will depend on what they do with players already there. Will Miami keep Eric Rowe? Byron Jones? Will they try and re-sign Emmanuel Ogba? Only a few of the many questions that need answered before the start of free agency officially on the 16th and unofficially in two days.